welcome to this week's episode of 60 Seconds with the Superintendent. Well, this year our theme is being the difference and how we can be the difference is by understanding that there's no finish line in learning. And when we know that there's no finish line in learning, we understand that it's a process. It's a messy process and nobody gets it on the first try. So how do we support one another in this learning? We model, we show examples, we get to interact and engage and work together. So today I'm at Moraski Elementary School to highlight some modeling we've done for our teachers to learn new strategies for our students. Let's take a look. Question. Have you heard that word before? Yes. COVID taught us a lot about how kids now learn. And it's not just about giving them information. It's about how can they critically think and how can they problem solve. This year we've talked about metacognitive strategies and that means our kids thinking about their thinking and them being the critical thinkers and the problem solvers. So going into classrooms and seeing kids engaged in their own learning and discussions and collaboration and them having productive arguments about topics and content is really exciting for the teachers to see because it's a new level of engagement for our kids. All right, let's hear what you said. It's been incredible to see these metacognitive strategies kind of take hold and be implemented in the classroom. Students taking ownership of their learning, uh, having really uh, productive conversations with one another, challenging each other to think differently, and, and really uh, cite evidence and, and, and establish their thinking uh, based on what they're reading and writing. Uh, it's just been really nice to see. I'm hearing things like students are already asking deeper questions than they've ever asked before. I'm seeing students produce more writing in the classroom and on some of our common assessments. So it's really exciting to see and as we explore these strategies in, in this first trimester and can't wait to see where it heads from here. And as we kind of learn and reflect each time we use one of these strategies, our hope is to get better uh, so we can create better opportunities for our kids each and every day. Getting them to think deeper about things is something that they're not used to, but they're shining. They really like to be able to dig deeper. I feel like their energy is just a little bit more exciting and excited about what they're doing when they're doing the learning and they're doing the thinking. Their problem solving skills surprise me all the time. Like I get really excited to see them wanting to solve these problems and not just waiting for me to give them the answer. The goal of the strategies are to promote the thinking of our students. While I have seen that, I've really seen the speaking and listening skills. So with some of the strategies, they're having to do their own thinking and then share it out with others. And with that, it's kind of like promoting that discourse where they're sharing their thinking, kind of verbal arguing, understanding, seeing others' point of view, and even starting to promote that through their writing. This is the foundational level, so if we're getting them to form their own thoughts and opinions, think about their learning at this level, each grade above us can build and think of the learners that we're going to have in fourth and fifth grade. It's going to be amazing. So our ultimate goal is really to create lifelong learners. We want our kids to leave our Strongsville City Schools being creative thinkers, critical thinkers, problem solvers is just preparing them for life and preparing them for life beyond our schools. When we embody the fact that there's no finish line in learning, we understand that progress is more important than perfection. And we can only progress when we work together, when we try new strategies, look at innovative practices, and lean on our colleagues to support through this learning process. And our teachers are embodying just that. As always, thanks for watching, and go make it a great Mustang week.